Hey guys, uh, sorry for the noise and everything. This is just a real quick video. I wanted to capture this before I fix the problem. This is my biggest issue with the Biesemeyer fence system. And there are some versions of the Biesemeyer fence that don't have this problem because of the way they're built. But this particular one does have this problem. So uh, let me show you. First of all, I got my, got my outfeed support right here. He likes to be on the, uh, the, the workbench because three feet off the ground is a lot warmer than, than uh, you know, being on this concrete floor here. So anyway, let me uh, flip the camera around and I'll talk to you guys and maybe turn off my heater so it's not so noisy. And I'll explain what I'm talking about here. It's been a couple of years since I bought this fence and it's really served me well. I really enjoy it. It's really accurate. It's rock solid. Everything pretty much about it is perfect. I do have an issue though. My issue is the way that they use this Formica on the faces. And I know the reasoning behind it is um, to make it a nice smooth flat surface to ride on. But the problem I'm running into is the way it's laminated to the surface and how that lamination isn't protected. Now they put this little uh, rubber bumper around it to kind of help it, but it still leaves the lamination between the Formica and the plywood exposed. And so let me show you what I'm talking about here. So, you know, they just use some nice, you know, whatever, plywood, half inch plywood here, and then they laminate it with the Formica. And so what's been happening to me Let's see if I can zoom in here. Now this chip was a, it was, it's not a Beeson Meyer issue, this was a shipping issue. Um, it wasn't, um, I, the company I bought this from didn't package it very well. And so it came uh, slightly damaged, but I didn't think that was going to be too big of an issue. Um, because, you know, it's a heavy duty fence and one little chip wasn't going to matter. So, but what's going on is I'm getting, especially when I'm cutting plywood, I get chunks of plywood wedged in between there and then what that does is it pushes it out and so now I've got a high spot right here. It's also happened right here. You can see where the uh, high spot has actually caused a crack in the face and then it's happened on this back corner as well. So now what I'm going to have to do is get in there with uh, like a razor blade or something and kind of pull that extra wood out, try to get this flat again. Um, I may, I'm not sure how it's attached um, because this is kind of like a solid piece of tube. But if I could figure out how to get this off, I might replace it with a piece of like ultra high molecular weight plastic or something um, because it's just getting a little lumpy now and so it's making it not as flat as it could be. And um, so, Flip around here. So there you go. I mean, I love the fence. It's um, it's a really nice fence. It's just that one design flaw that, uh, with repeated use, it it just gets worse and worse and worse. And so I'm gonna, I'm definitely keeping the fence, but I'm just gonna see if I can't modify it somehow, and uh, hopefully, um, eliminate that issue. So uh, if you guys have any uh, suggestions on how I can do that, or if you've done anything like this in the past, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for sticking around and watching, and I'll see you guys next time.